that God saved me at the age of 21. But one of the very first things I learned stuck with me for a long time. Don't put your mouth on the man of God. Do not put your mouth on the man of God. Again and again we were told this. The reason being, I was told, is that Psalm 105 says this, Do not touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm. If your pastor was to say something questionable, you dare not question him. Problem is, that verse doesn't mean what I was told it means. The anointed ones in Psalm 105 are not pastors or televangelists or a special group of Christians. What they are is all of God's people. And the harm we're talking about isn't, isn't a verbal criticism, it's physical harm, actual physical harm. That passage really isn't about what I was told it was about. But worse than that, more to the point, is that the entire New Testament tells us not only that it's okay to quote, put our mouth on the man of God, again and again we are encouraged, no actually even commanded, to correct, confront, and rebuke false teaching in all of its forms. And if the false teacher doesn't repent, we're to avoid them altogether. You see, the teaching of the Bible is not, do not put your mouth on the man of God. No, the teaching of the Bible is any time that your life or your teaching does not match up with God's word, you open yourself up to correction. That's the teaching of the Bible.